How to improve your phone speed and use auto-deleting messages on iPhone running on iOS 8. When your good old iPhone isn't as fast as he used to be, there is a way to return him back to his top performance. Here's how to do it in several steps. First of all, you can clean your iPhone from all unnecessary load, including non-used apps, old messages, photos and videos and so on. The more free space your iPhone has, the better it runs. Check on your apps. Do you keep on using numerous fitness and photo apps? With iOS 8, you won't need that many fitness trackers anymore, since free health app stores most of your health and fitness data. Same with photo apps. Your free photo app is much better at editing of your photos, so you won't need to use two other photo editing and colour correcting apps. Do delete the non-used apps and free the extra space. Good. Now check your photos and videos. There is no need to store all of them inside your iPhone's memory. In fact, you could store them with the help of iCloud instead and free the valuable space on your iPhone. Note that your deleted photos are stored for 30 more days in a recently deleted album. Go to the album and delete them forever right away. The space is free. Done. Let's check on your messages. Some of the messages stored in your iPhone take a lot of space. Delete the messages that you don't need and in order not to overload your iPhone with new ones, use the auto-deleting feature for messages. Go to Settings, then Messages, then scroll down and tap Keep Messages. Instead of keeping messages forever in your iPhone, opt for keeping them for 30 days. Alright, it looks like our iPhone has much more space now, let's move on to the next step. Step 2. Close all running apps. You won't believe how much operational memory your running apps use. So to stop them from doing that, double press the Home button to reveal the list of running apps. Tap on the featured pages of running apps and drag them to the screen to force close them. Here you go, you just freed a lot of space of your operational memory and prolonged the running time of your battery. Step 3. Reactivate Bluetooth and Wi-Fi if you don't need them. Swipe the finger up the screen to reveal your control centre. Proceed with tapping on Bluetooth and Wi-Fi icons to deactivate them. If you cannot manage without Wi-Fi, at least reactivate Bluetooth. Step 4. Running phone notifications also uses a lot of operational memory. Go to Settings, then Notifications. Deactivate notifications from all the apps that you can manage without. Step 5. Your iPhone is still sluggish? Let's see what else prevents it from being fast. Do you have your location services activated? Not good. Go to Settings, then Privacy, then Location Services and do turn it off. Now let's check your Safari app. Once again go to Settings and choose Safari. Scroll down and choose Clear History and Website Data. Choose again, Clear History and Data. Deactivate automatic app updates by going to Settings, iTunes App Stores and turning all automatic downloads to off. Step 6. Finally remember to treat your iPhone kindly and give it some time to rest. Switch it off and restart it regularly. Having followed all of the steps above, you'll notice that your iPhone has returned to its fast self. This is just great. You've just learned how to improve the speed of your iPhone running on iOS 8. This was a How Tech tutorial. Like us on Facebook, love us forever, or leave us a comment here in the fields below. Thanks for watching.